Here's tonight out of Jefferson County for you. Fence is up and a homeowner is hoping her dispute with the community can finally be put to rest. There's been a years long fight over land along Bear Creek. This is in the town of Kittredge between Morrison and Evergreen. Now many people thought that land was part of a park. The landowner says it's rightfully hers though. The reporter Olivia Young is in the Jeffco Foothills tonight and Olivia, this small piece of land has been a huge battle. It certainly has, McKellia. Now, just a month ago, this land was actually fenced off for the first time, and you can see that green grass starting to grow after years of public use. But on the other side of the fence, this beach area now officially belongs to everyone. It's the outcome of a long property battle between a new neighbor and a small town. For a long time, the community really had the narrative of me being a wicked witch who hates kids and wants them off her property. She calls herself the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm going to own it. Um, and I did, and I ran with it. In 2021, Tara Lynn Romero and her fiancé bought a home next to Kittredge Park with a creek running through it. It was a huge draw. I fell in love immediately. But when summer hit, droves of people showed up on her land. We have 55 people with families, dogs, you know, tents. Coolers, grills, beach umbrellas, towels, six packs. It had turned into a water park. Prior owners had apparently given the public permission to use the area, and many believed it was part of the park. But according to official surveys, the land belongs to Romero. Interactions with the community soon turned ugly online and in person. They were incredibly abusive to me verbally and abusive to the land. Uh, sometimes they were bringing out metal shovels and like literally destroying the creek bank. They were breaking trees, they were leaving trash. That's when Romero decided to cut off public access to her property and the creek entirely. Even if it is her land, take it from her. And they did, well, they tried. In 2022, Jefferson County sued Romero in an effort to obtain the land through adverse possession, citing a long history of public use. Romero launched her own campaign on TikTok, where her story went viral. They were writing the commissioners, they were making phone calls. In May of 2023, Romero and Jeff Co settled. At the end of the day, I said, you know what, let's split this baby. In return for $250,000, Romero gave up a portion of her land. Last month, she fenced in her new property line. Uh, and hopefully that's the last of it. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have another summer of people really trying to push the boundary and getting triggered by a fence. The Wicked Witch wants peace with the villagers. But first, she has one more battle. Yes, I'm ready to put it behind me, but not before um, I seek some accountability in the courts with the people who sold me my home. Romero is suing those previous owners for alleged fraud and failing to disclose the public use. They have a mediation session coming up in May. Karen? Goodness gracious. All right. Sounds like certainly a long battle for that homeowner, Olivia. Have relations between her and the town improved at all since they've reached that settlement? Well, the settlement was only finalized in December, so we will have to see how the summer plays out. Romero did say they had a recent incident of a teenager jumping this fence, but she also said she's had some neighbors apologize to her and that she's hopeful she can mend that relationship with the community. Back to you. All right, Olivia, thank you so much. Oh, we need